In today's quick fire questions, we're going to be looking at drawing alkanes and alkenes. So as with all my quick fire questions, I'll ask a question, pause the video. You'll probably be drawing it out this time and then see if your answer matches mine. So the first question is number one, draw and name the first four alkanes. Let's do this as a table. So they come in order of one carbon, two carbon, three carbon, four carbon. They're the simplest of the organic compounds, which means they have no double bonds, no extra elements. They're just hydrocarbons. So there's the first one, and it is called methane. The one with two carbons now. This is called ethane. Three carbons. And notice that each carbon atom forms four bonds and each hydrogen forms one bond and that will help you draw them accurately. This is called propane and lastly four carbons and this is called butane. Question two, draw the general formula of the alkanes. So hopefully your answer should look like this, CnH2n plus 2. Next up, we want to draw the general formula of the alkenes. So your answer here is CnH2n. Question four, what is the functional group of the alkenes? And remember that they are unsaturated, so they are C double bond C. Question five, draw and name the first four alkenes. So hopefully you realise there's no such thing as a one carbon alkene because you need a minimum of two carbons, as you see here, to have an alkene. So no such thing as a one carbon alkene. So automatically we move on to two carbon alkenes, three carbon alkenes, four carbon alkenes and five carbon alkenes. So we're going to draw them now. So we need the double bond. Remember that each carbon forms four bonds, which is why your final formula looks like this. It's called ethene. Drawing now one with three carbons. Again, double check your bonds, but your three carbon alkene looks like this. This is propene. Four carbon one. This is butene. And just to be particularly accurate, the name of this compound really is butuanine. And that's because the double bond occurs on the first carbon. It would also have been accurate to draw butene like this. And in this case, we have butuene. Why? Because that double bond is on the second carbon. And these are isomers because they have the same molecular formula but different structural formula. Question six, draw an equation for the reaction between ethene and bromine, name the type of reaction. So ethene, it's an alkene, so it has a double bond. Bromine is diatomic, which means it exists as Br2. Now what happens in this case is the double bond breaks and the bromine adds itself to each of the carbons. So this is the compound formed. So this is ethene. This is bromine. They probably won't ask you this, but this is dibromoethane. The reason it's no longer ethene is because we don't have a double bond anymore. But because the bromine has simply added itself to the ethene, we call this an addition reaction. Question seven, draw an equation for the reaction between methane and bromine, name the type of reaction and give the reaction condition needed. So methane, it contains one carbon, it's saturated, which means it has no double bonds. Bromine, again, is diatomic, so it exists as Br2. What happens in this case is that we lose one of the hydrogens and one of the Brs attaches. 
So actually what you form is this compound with HBr left over. So naming it, there's methane, there's bromine, there's bromomethane. Again, you probably won't need to name that. And this last substance is hydrogen bromide, but you really won't need to name that. Because all that's happened is one of the H's has been swapped for Br, so it's been substituted. We call this a substitution reaction. And remember, the vital condition needed is UV light.